Hello everybody, Banana Bow here with another review. I'm out here in Florida. This is the hotel room that I'm going to be staying at for the next few days. Uh, I'm I'm gone from Disney World now, so I did get quite a bit of uh, new stuff from Disney World though in the Disney store. So this is uh, this is a set that I've never seen before actually. It must be rare, so I probably should be maybe leaving it in the package, but I don't know. I'm not even sure if they still make these anymore because this is Cars 3 themed and you know Cars 3 was five years ago. But I just I seen these. They had like like they, they had quite a bit of these sets at the Disney store, so yeah, I, I really wanted this because it had the Apple Racer, which is uh, uh I forget his name. I think it was JD Drivers or something like that. I think that was his name. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna have to open it up here now. Yeah, the packaging is quite beat up here, but I don't mind it because you know I'm gonna have to open it up. Anyways, for the review, now I just need to I need to open it. I, I won't be able to get them boxing fully on camera because I do not have a stand for my phone, so. Yeah, we're just gonna have to cut here. Okay, we have all the racers out of the packaging. So, we have a pretty nice little collection of these guys. We have McQueen, Cal Weathers, Brick Yardley, uh, Storm. Forget his name. Also forget these guys' names. Same goes for this car right here. I forget his name. He's one of the Rusty's guys. Rusty's Racing Center cars. And uh, here is JP Drive, which I was actually really surprised. And th this was actually really the only reason why I got this set. But, you know, at, at least I have this nice little collection of other cars here. But JP Drive here, it, he's almost in like the actual size of the normal um, die cast line. The, this, the stupidest part about this, though, like the, wor the only problem that I really have with this is that his his back wheels go out like way too far and it just looks so wrong but yeah i don't mind it so, uh, he has stickers back here so, sorry that i had to stop the footage anyways as i was saying he has uh, stickers on the back which i actually kind of hate although he has the apple sticker on the back too which is just a really nice detail I love the look on these Apple racers. They just, they, they just look so cool. I love them. So, that's a break from JP Drive. Let's look at um. Yeah, I I I, for, I forget this car's name, but he's one of the cars that appears in the Rusty's Racing Center from Cars Three. Not too much to really say about him because you know he does have a basic paint job. Let's look at number twelve here. Again, I forget these na racers' names because you know I haven't uh, I haven't read them in a long time. So yeah, that is twelve. I don't really have too much to say about these racers besides from the really cool paint jobs. Use more stickers on the back, I think, which I again I really hate. And here's Jackson Storm, McQueen's enemy, at least in Cars 3. And it seems like he has a little stain on his hood, which I did just scratch off. Weird. So, I wish I could record better footage for this, guys. I, I don't have a phone stand, so I can't hold up my phone while I'm recording this, so. I love the little smirk look on him. <laughs> I, I just... I love Storm merchandise that does that. There's not too much out there that has an expression like this, at least I think, but yeah. Now I have Brick Yardley. Brick Yardley has too much merchandise, in my opinion, because he, he's a playable character in Cars 3, the, the video game. And he also, he even has a busy book. So I think Brick Yardley got a little bit too much, bit too much merchandise than he really should have gotten, because you know, 
he's not an important character in Cars 3, or did he even really appear all that much, so. Kind of weird, but, you know, I guess I don't mind him having that much merchandise. Um, Cal Weathers. So, Cal Weathers, the thing that's wrong with him is that he's missing, like, his headlight stickers. But, doesn't take away too much, because, you know, this still does look pretty cool. I love it. The axles are really, are, are much stronger than the actual die casts. Which I actually kind of wish the actual die cast line had strong axles like these. But, I don't know. These are just some weird Disney store cars. Now, finally, Lightning McQueen. Lightning here. He's always been a hero. At least to me. I not too much to say about him although i love the mold i love how this looks looks accurate to light of green love the spoiler and the axles are strong too and the back also uses stickers which i guess i don't mind too much but i kind of wish it was unpainted there's a smile and his his eyes for some reason the disney store stuff always has like these weird realistic like stylized eyes to their car stuff which i just i never understand why they have that on all their car stuff but who knows so let's just put all these cars together we have all the cars together and i'm just gonna have one final thought on these these are actually pretty okay like they're not bad but they could be made a little bit better but if you if you are a huge cars collector like I am and you really want like an Apple racer just for JP then I guess I recommend it cuz you know the scaling on this item is uh you know it's it's pretty accurate but if that's the only reason why you want to get this pack then go ahead um I got it for $30 which I guess isn't all that bad for all these cars but Again, the, really the only reason why I wanted this, though, was because of JP Drive. But, hey, I still got some pretty cool cars, too, I guess. Kind of wish they did just make JP himself. But I don't mind having all these cars here, so. But if you really just want to play with these and just maybe a gift for someone, like a kid, then, yeah, I guess I recommend it. Although I would recommend the actual die casts more than these, but these aren't that bad. So should you get these? Depends. So if I if you're a cars collector, then yeah, get this I guess. But if you just want to get this for a kid, this is fine too. So that's all I really have to say about this set. Um, it had it had a really cool looking box. But, yeah, that, that's about it. See ya.